you'll have to pardon the generator if you can hear it in the background. But, um, cause the kids are reined in, in our house, cause we're off grid, no power, no water, no septic. We're living in our camp trailer and I'm doing a no dig style gardening. So it looks really messy with the boxes, but this is the Charles Dowding style as far as I can see. And what I've done is pre dug my holes here and then the soil is so hard that I put water in and then let it soak down in. And then I re-dig the holes out so I can get them deep enough to plant in. So then I come across with my next row and I put the board on just to hold the boxes down in the wind. And then I thread my next layer between, so I'm folding these over. I can do it with one hand. And then I thread this up underneath here so that it looks like that between each plant. And I am doing a two layer or three layer between each one to choke out all that crabgrass. It's absolutely crazy to try to chase the crabgrass. Then my next layer will go on and I just put this underneath that. Slide it underneath, slide it all the way over. I have to pick this tape off, so I will pick my tape off. And then it kind of boxes in each plant so that the plant can grow. There's a hole so we can water it. It can get the light through, but then the next layer will choke out the grass. Then I am putting a row of potatoes along this edge here. And in the no dig style fashion, I'm going, I'm putting a little bit of soil on and then I'm putting wood chips. So I'm just going to, I know these are kind of close to each other, but the reason why I'm doing this, because I'm struggling to get enough water here. And so I am kind of crowding my garden this year, but that's how I'm going to do a row of potatoes next to my tomatoes. I did flowers and different kinds of tomatoes, herbs, and where the grasshoppers have won and they've eaten everything from that plant pretty much, I went back in and I planted one of my squashes. And I kind of did the same thing with my raspberry since I'm watering there anyway and this is only going to be here this year. I plant my pumpkin right there. So I'm kind of multi-sowing, multi-use spaces to water just like I did with my elderberry. This is elderberry and then I'm planting a squash, acorn squash right there. So normally in my garden I would do my flowers somewhere else but since I'm watering here at this pet base of this pepper I went ahead and put flowers, pepper, flowers, pepper, flowers and so all of my flowers away that I I planted the seed and grew them under my grow lights before we decided to move. So every one of these peppers along this row has flowers at the base of it. So I just thought I would share this no dig style and how I'm doing it. Then I'll come in with my row of potatoes and my next row of cardboard little bit of dirt on top of those potatoes and then the bark on top of that and this is how this whole row right as those potatoes there's a whole row of potatoes right here you can't see underneath the wood chips right down in the soil and then i transplanted garlic and onions, they look so sad. Oh, there's another garlic. They look so sad, but I just transplanted them anyway, got them in the ground. It's a nice, beautiful, rainy day. Messy watering station. It's raining on me, but I am able to work out here right now. 
and normally it's so hot I can't be out here. So even with this noisy generator in the background, I am enjoying working on my messy garden. All right, just wanted to make note of what I'm doing here. I just am keeping on going even though it's pouring rain. I'm enjoying the change in weather because I'm not sitting out here sweating. I have a jacket on, my new boots my husband bought me. My new boots for working hard, I guess. He bought all the girls cowgirl boots, and I got me a new pair of boots also. All right, I'll talk to you too soon. Till next time.